we are while implementing the constitution there are some issues still pending and uh, we want the, our constitution to be adopted and amended so that every walk of life people in the southern part rgb like others ethnic community also could participate uh, in the election but thank god they have agreed to participate in the election but we try to amend the constitution so that the constitution is totally acceptable, acceptable for both for all side but we, do, we, we couldn't secure two third majority in the parliament therefore we could not uh, amend the constitution i think i hope in future we will have two third majority and we will amend the constitution so that people from the northern side or southern side east west all people will uh, accept will uh, constitution is their constitution and one day i am hopeful that constitution will be supported by all and uh, that will encompass all the people of nepal common interest on democracy development and dignity for each other thanks to modi ji as i discussed that regular engagement at the highest political level would greatly contribute to sustain cement trust and confidence this is this visit it mine is an effort to the direction both of us agree that there are tremendous opportunities in nepal in their relation in the most potential in economic field particularly in water resources trade and investment with the end of long political transition nepali people stand this world of new era progress and prosperity <clears throat> this time this has come this has come this has come now translate aspirations and desire into reality with a strong partnership and collaboration we can make a dif- difference and give our people to dignified life <clears throat> prime minister modi ji and I, i i noted with satisfaction that bilateral project have started again momentum in the past one year after regular monitoring and joint oversight of mechanism implementation of agreement will continue to receive enhanced focus